What is going on everybody? Is Milbro back with Fangs here for in co-op episode 15. We just got done with Horde Night and in case you missed it, we uh well, I actually died right at the end of the Horde, uh which is fun little stuff. Fangs is just joined in now. I'm just gonna start looting up the old zombies. Fangs is saying he uh been playing a little bit too much Subnautica, so I I can understand him a little bit there. I'm just annoyed that they didn't actually add uh, multiplayer to that game. That would be fun. Uh, Subnautica? Is that the game you were talking about? Yeah, Subnautica. Yeah, like, I've personally never played it before, so I've heard it's... I've seen gameplay of it, and it looks really fun. It's like, I've even seen gameplay of the sequel. Actually getting some decent loot out of these zombies. I already found like some 762 and a pistol with uh, nine rounds extra. I have for my blunderbuss. I have a stack and one ammo. <laughs> a stack and one ammo. <laughs> I'm getting it down to a stack. Screw this. Oh, I want to just have it at one. Wait. Space. <laughs> yeah, it's like that is the most annoying thing. It's like, uh, like when you when you have like uh, the ammo stacks, it's like, uh, it, it it just I get what you mean. It's annoying. Like, like uh, this is wasting an inventory space. Oh wait, I just I just had a nurse spawn right in front of me. Nice. <laughs> I. Oh, but... Oh yeah, and I've got my I got my pack now. Yeah. The thing is I can't put my clothes on. Oh the joys of seven days. Ooh, a zombie. Come here, nurse. <laughs> okay, uh, I kinda of took that like just... shrubbery, but I thought it was a screamer. Nope, it's just a normal woman. And yeah, immediately trying to a gore pile. I just sliced the nurse's head off. Oh. Uh, into a pile. Well, that's instant death. Well, those I guess you could say with that nurse, she was uh, mind blown. That's one way, but yeah. Oh, let me just get my clothes back on. Probably uh, be a good time to start investing into your armor. Damn you, Fatso! Yeah, probably. And then I got a crawler that sprained my leg. Oh, things are going well for me. It's always fun. The funny thing is, like, the crawlers are usually, like, uh... You, I can at least somewhat hear them, but... Sometimes they are so sneaky. That's the funny thing about them. Oh, I killed it. I didn't know if I killed it. Of how its position was when it was laying down. Oh, lovely. Come here. Sneaky. Ah... Okay, that crawler's finally down. He can stop bugging me. It's like, I, I don't know if he's trying to you know, talk to me about my car's extended warranty, nor do I really care. And... I'll just throw the flesh out. One of the zombies gave me uh, facial piercings. Uh, that, that, that can go right into the iron pile. Yep. Um, Feeling that flex, it's now level 35. Wonderful. Uh, There's another zombie. I got another nurse uh, trying to sneak up behind me, and now her head's gone. Oh, hi. Yeah, your head's gone. Bye bye. Uh oh. Find a fatso. It dead. 
Hey, guess what? You're dead. Yep. Ah, a nurse. You're, you're giving me my doctor's nose? <laughs> oh, your head's gone. Oh. Uh, are you here to give me a doctor's note? Sorry, I removed your head for you. Yeah, um, earlier today, like, uh, for those of you who are watching it, uh, we're recording uh, this on, uh, April 14th, uh, and, uh, if you watch the Woodle, it's like, uh, yeah, he started a, uh, mod playthrough on PC, uh, basically it's like the, it's, uh, and the map is basically the whole continent of Australia. <laughs> oh no. And, uh, I, I already was... know how bad that's gonna go. <laughs> What's funny is, like, uh, he was, like, uh, within, like, the first five minutes of the game, like, he, uh, as he's kind of talking, like, uh, suddenly there's a, there's a flying... I'm getting comboed by three zombies. Oh, lo bleeding. Oh, lovely. Uh, as I, I was... Run a bit. Use as I was... the bandage I just picked up. As I was saying, though, it's like, he's... He's, like, not even five minutes into the game, and it's like, uh... But suddenly, like, uh, he looks up and, like, uh, after, I think, taking down one of the animals, and, uh, he sees a, uh, a flying spider. <laughs> That'd be nightmare fuel. <laughs> yes, a flying spider. I'm like, <laughs> I just start cracking up. I'm, he, the, like, later on, like, towards the end of the episode, he's like, hey. He's like, he's like, I don't know what the deal is with the flying spiders. We don't have these in Australia, because he's an Australian YouTuber. I'm like... It's the me. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like, this, this series is already off to a great start. I, I love watching him. It's like, he's funny. Like, uh, watch him for years. Alright, back to what I was doing, though. Like... Before the horde night, and the zombies decided Headshot. to decided to so rudely kill me. <laughs> hey, what about me? There's some bad about my deaths. Hey, they're very rude for killing you too. Uh huh. What can I say? The zombies are all rude. Considering they feel hard aiming in this version. Yep. Okay, I think we're. I think we might be okay on sand for a little bit. <laughs> I'm just like dead fat, so got like uh, got like like 3,500 sand total, which is nice. It's which means can actually just start working towards uh, upgrading towards concrete. Um, what do we, uh, what do we have for, um, for armor? We have iron unlocked. I think we have scrap iron. I mean, we do have some of the iron unlocked. Yeah. Uh, did... I actually have to look in the workbench for the, for the, for the iron armor, so. Uh, I might, I probably have more unlocked because I found a few of it, so I should go to. I have the, uh, like, the, the gloves and the yeah. iron leg armor. Okay, I think I might have the chest piece. Oh, no. Uh, I'm just looking for iron. Unfortunately, no. I don't really have forged iron because I've been focused on upgrading, uh, upgrading my base uh, full of, uh, full of iron uh, to full scrap iron level. I have some iron for you. Any iron is uh, graciously accepted for the cause. For your base? Yep. I mean, I'm, I'd say I'm doing decent. It's like uh, about halfway there. I'm not upgrading the roof, guys, because uh, I don't need to spend any more freaking iron on this base. Alright, I got the boots, leg armor, I'm missing the chest. Iron gloves and iron helm. Wonderful. Then I don't have any scrap on. Um, I'm gonna go raid the southwest corner of the town just for a bit of uh, looting and also uh, 
keep the viewers entertained. I'll meet you guys yeah. down over at the southwest corner of town. So, see you there in just a second. Stream. Mm hmm. Alright, guys, I'm on the uh, southwest corner of town. We're gonna hit up this little town here. It. You yeah, figured. Uh, like, uh, then the last recording batch, uh, you know, gave you guys a little bit too much of building, you know, try to keep that stuff off camera. Don't want to bore you guys too much, so. Let's just see what's in this cardboard box here. Short iron pipe, I'll take it. And let's see in the bookshelf. Nothing. It's fangs, is it just me, or uh, more often than not, do you find, like, nothing in the bookshelves? I find a lot of stuff in the bookshelves, but um, I, I'm incredibly lucky when I don't want to. When I'm not thinking. <laughs> the classic Pokemon but, theory of, uh, of, like, well, you don't want anything, the game gives you everything, but as soon as you want one specific thing, the game starts to. to, to and it immediately knows, and it's like, oh yeah, we're, we're just not gonna give you this. It's a classic. Alright, got my forge down. Oh yeah, guys, Fang's uh, making a forge, so that way you can smelt stuff down faster. It's like, considering my forge is basically the, uh, the, the cement forge at the moment. I should definitely make a forge, because I got 117 leather on me. Jeez. <laughs> I've just been... I made mine an animal hide. Usually, I got a bunch of that. Usually for me, when I start a new world, it, one of two things happens. It's either I find a I find a, uh, a house with some leather in it, so it's like if I and then so what I just start doing is I just start converting the animal hide over to leather for uh, because it's like. Okay, I'm just gonna use this, because it's like, I already have, like, because it doesn't matter if you use leather or animal hides in it. You get the same result. Because really, it's like, that's the biggest obstacle, the bellows. Yeah. And also, for little iron pipes, uh, but, uh, realistically, you can just beat on a toilet with, uh, with the stone axe and you'll, you can guarantee a pipe in this version. Oops, accidentally hit the fridge. I don't need to be chopping open a uh, a fridge with a fire axe. <laughs> yep, that's not... At, so far. At, at, at least I haven't had the, uh... At least I haven't really done the, uh, you know... Uh, you know, when you hit one of the vending machines and it'll actually electrocute you. Hey, pistol book. Nice. Just normal pistol. Yeah, just pistol book. I, I didn't. If it was a magnum, I'd be, I'd be, I want that. Yeah, it's a. Uh, like, I didn't have the pistol book before. I was thinking, I'm like, it'd be nice to have a pistol book so I could take apart one of the pistols for, uh, for, uh, for the ammunition. I just like... that you could then combine it with all the current parts we have to get to a higher tier. Yeah, that reminds me. Sometimes should uh, one of us should go back over to the uh, old base and because uh, there's Ooh. a lot of there, there's a lot of gun uh, there's a lot of gun parts over there. I keep forgetting about that. I'm like that would be one of those uh, tasks to do. Like if we find the mini bike book, because like the mini bike, it, even though it doesn't give that much storage space extra, it's like it's still extra storage space. It mainly, the storage space mainly depends on what tier the basket is. I found mainly, I found that like the higher you go in quality for the uh, the storage basket, you don't really get much in terms of it just stays the same. Now, if you look at it, the mate, it's like triple the size. Really? Hmm. Yep. I. When I learned that, because I originally put that, I put low levels on that, I, like, it doesn't really matter. But once I got it, I'm like, wow, this is good. I think it's like, usually it gives you, like, what, like 18 storage slots on a low quality, is it? 
Oh uh, no, way less. Really? Hmm. Maybe like nine. But oh. on the higher tiers, it's like eighteen, twenty. Hmm. But I three really... rows of eight, I think, which would be twenty-four. What pieces to the magnum do you need? Uh, I have the parts and, and frame. Why? Well, I just found you the grip. Nice. Yeah, the wonderful little stuff. Just wrenching down the beds. I'm like, eh, if anything, I could just use the, uh, use the, use the springs for, uh, extra, for an extra cement mixer, and then, uh, we can make the cement even faster. What we need is more an our workbench. Yeah, that's so a good one. both use it, and it gets real tiring with me having to craft something and wait ten minutes for it to be done. Yeah, that's good. Uh, oh! Potato seed for you. Ooh, more for the farm. Yeah, I one... really cleared out the clay area so we can fill this in, and then we're good. Uh... I was gonna say, uh, one of the Horde Knight zombies said you can give me an extra corn seed. I just gotta craft a hoe and start hoeing the ground. Or tilling it, depending mm -hmm. on how you say it. I say, I use it interchangeably. Same. I'm annoyed with myself. I've been playing too much Subnaka. In that game, Triangle is jump. I have to jump to get to my base. I keep going for triangle, not X. <laughs> yeah, it's like for me, like when I used to play a lot of Call of Duty, it's like uh, if I would go play something like Battlefield, because like, okay, for context, like myself personally, like being a PS3 era player, it's like, uh, you know how like Call of Duty has the, uh, the aim and fire buttons as your L2 and R2? Mm-hmm. So, PS3 era, it's L1 and R1 to aim and fire. L1's your aim, and then R1's your fire. So it's like, for me, it's like, well, uh... What's L2 and R2? Or is there none? Oh, that's your... Basically, it's flipped from modern Call of Duty. Like, L1 and R1's uh, your, your lethal and tacticals. Like, your grenades, it's like, uh, and all that. It's like, uh, but I have it. So, L2 and R2 back in the PS3 era is your... Is your grenades, and uh, I have that hardwired into my into my brain. I'm like, uh, like I must, uh, I must have flip this every time I play a Call of Duty like a uh, style shooter because it like I literally can't shake it. And, but like when I would like play Battlefield 4 occasionally, because uh, they don't have the flip uh, flip the, uh, the aim and fire over with to like L1 and R1. I would get confused sometimes. I'd be like, "Why? Why can't I shoot? I'm, why am I throwing grenades?" It's like, "Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> There's my problem. I have to use L1, L2, and R2 to aim and shoot." Uh, so many years of playing Call of Duty. It's like, yeah, on the PS3 era. It's like, just kind of was. I can't really shake it. Did you say you have a magnum frame? Uh, yes. I have a parts yes. frame and then the grip you got. Yeah, I got you the, the cylinder. You just need the cylinder now to it. Yep. To me, it's like I, then I got a full magnum. Out of curiosity, to me, I was like, yo. Last night, I was just kind of thinking of myself like, with the uh, seven days. I'm like, I, me being the gun nut that I am, I'm like, uh, I'm like, I wonder what you know, what 44 Magnum it's based off of the the seven days version. And I'm like, it's probably maybe a Smith and Wesson. It's like, uh, it's like because I I looked up the uh, actually just before recording this, I I actually started I I looked up to see what the uh, um, Generation Zero 44 Magnum is, it's like, because I thought it was a, a Ruger, but, uh, some of you might not know Gun Talk, but it, it, it's a brand of revolver, guys. Don't, don't look too much into it unless you want to start learning, which I do encourage you to do. 
Yeah, it's like it's based off Ruger, mostly. Oh, yeah, the... Find some decent loot, got a couple points in gunsmithing. Did you need nice. a... did you need a hunting knife schematic? Uh, I think so, I'll have... I'll... If you need it, yeah. then I have the book for you. I messed up again on the jump button. <laughs> oh. Not happy with myself on that one. Hey, what can, you, what can you do? Yep. It muscle memory. <laughs> we are uh, humans. We are uh, creatures of habit. Get away, zombie. Don't stun me. Oh, I thought yeah, you were saying. I, I thought you were saying in a way the zombies are too. I mean, then mm. again, well, then again, yeah, I guess you could say zombies are are just our creatures habit. All they want to do is eat brains. Yeah, I mean that's one way put. You know, one thing I wish that was. This is a later feature on PC. You know, it wasn't. Like this, none of the older versions, like this version here, never got it. But it's like on um, on PC, they have like the uh, like when you destroy a like a door, like if you if you do like a lot of damage extra, it it'll actually carry over to the next phase of the door. And it's like I was I just realized that with the while breaking down some of these stones here, I'm like. I wish that feature was hit on this uh, version too, because it would be so. Yeah, nice. I don't have the hunting knife schematic, so. Okay, I got the book for you, so I'll be over in a second. Yeah. Okay. Ah, I just absolutely love it when I'm breaking down a block, and and then it's like it leaves me with a one hit point. <laughs> oh, I completely forgot to. Hit show you. I'm like, where's Fangs at? I'm like, oh wait, <laughs> my bad. Eyes on. Come here, Fatso. Hey, you're talking about that? Uh, you know, like, you basically find everything when you're not looking for it. It's like, uh, yeah, it's like that whole effect. It's like, it's basically me with uh, the one like, shot. The, that uh, it's basically me with that effect on a uh, um, generation zero when I'm just spawned on generation zero when I'm trying to look for like uh, some of the good stuff like uh, some of the higher rarity weapons on there and it's like uh, and it's like the game proceeds Dreamer. the game proceeds to give me uh, uh, freaking uh, uh, freaking extended magazines for the same gun over and over. You see, he's a wandering horror. Yep. I'm helping you clear him out. I need some of the XP. Oh no, there's more stuff in the quest. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm just like... I'm like, I would... <laughs> like... The game insists on giving me the stupid, uh... Oh damn, you just duplicated. How, how, how did you... How did you duplicate into an eye zone? <laughs> like it's split into two different zombies. Uh, I was gonna make a joke about like uh, the one term about how like you know cells reproduce and everything. That's what basically what happened. I can't remember the term off the top of my head. Hey, another screamer. Mitosis or or meiosis? That's Something like that. The, those are the two types of cell replication. For meiosis is sexual organ and my. Osis is for normal cells. It's been a, it's been over a decade since I was in well about a decade since I was in high school. Give me a break. <laughs> it's it wouldn't really matter if I was in high school or not. I have a nearly photographic memory, so ah. Uh, yeah, things I got you good news. There's a nurse screamer for you. Ah, but you're taking the kills, so well, I'm out here fighting at my own little group. We're just having a little party over here. Ow! One of the yep, zombies I'm infected me. Infected? Yep. 
play who it was. I got a few. I got a few pills for that. These antibiotics. Level 36. I got 30 I skill points to spend. Fly seven. I just made one, two, three e zombies go uh, done. Oh, lovely. One of the best. I hit. I hit them all with one shot. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, I ran out of stamina using my hunting knife. Uh, I'm just using my blunderbuss. Yeah. I like getting up close and personal with the zombies. Yeah, the other streamer is uh, just stuck. Wow, that guy just did a backflip a few times. Impressive. Oh, the twirling animation? Yeah. To me, it's like, I always think the zombies just become so overly dramatic when they do that. Oh, Come here, screamer. A bit away. Can I crack a butt? Yes, I can. I just need time. Screamer is dead. Hey, another screamer's popped up. Jeez, is it kind of two forges going? Maybe. Or we have two forges total going? Possibly, or... Oh, a four screamer spawned in! <laughs> oh yeah, it's definitely on forges, let's keep this going. Again, a bunch of XP for sure. <laughs> XP farm! Usually I would fast forward this kind of thing, but I'm like, you can't make this stuff up! <laughs> No, that's where you just make a time lapse with you constantly killing them. Just da 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 da. If I do that, then I'll that. have to. Then I have to remember. Uh, I have to remember to mute the clip because otherwise you'll hear us in like squeaky voices. Man, yeah. guys, like waterfall. Oh boy. Oh, and that boat boat and stop through the boat I just crafted. Popping heads like watermelons over here. I don't have time to aim that much. <laughs> You're literally running gun. Hey, yeah. another level up. I think, ironically enough, with you digging out the uh, the screamer, the uh, the clay pit, it's uh, it's turned into a screamer trap. Because mm. she she can't get out. Yeah, it's best to kill the screamer. Cause after I scream two times, they can't scream right now. Yeah, oh well. I'm just working on clearing out the others. It's like... This is better than a Horde Knight. It, it's better than our Horde Knight so far. Imagine Aang editing the size of a Wandering Forge to being like a hundred or two hundred zombies. That would actually be fun. Like, uh, the thing is, I don't know oh, if this... I crippled a zombie. The thing is, I don't know if this version could handle that many zombies. Oh no, it could. It definitely could. If it can't handle about 500 lights, then it definitely can't handle 100 zombies. Apparently, uh, I don't know if the new console version will have it, but, uh, uh, the PC version, at least, uh, on Horde Nights, you can have, uh, Horde Nights of up to 64 zombies. Mm. Yeah, like 64 zombies at a time, like, coming at you, it's like, which is fun, I'm like, I'm like, but, That's yeah. where explosives become mandatory. Our tree is not low twice yet. Yeah, it's like, the thing is, I, when you do that, though, it's like, uh, it, you have to have a decent system to run it, because it's like, uh, it'll start chugging the system a little bit. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I got a full pistol from the screamer. What level? Uh, 54. Nice. Well, it might just because something's a lo low down due to high down, so never know. Another level up, and I have 40 skill points to spend. Come here, nurse. Uh, you're catching up to me. And more zombies have spawned in. Man, this is just... Oh, zombies dead. I'm to Oh, another screamer. Your gang's saved for later. <laughs> oh. What, am I wrong? No, like, you're not. That's the fun thing. 
So, hey, seven, don't kill it. That's the new one. Seven days to die, but it actually has zombies. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that might be the title of this episode. <laughs> Seven days to die, but it actually has, but it actually has, uh, it actually has zombies for a change. Like we're getting no breaks. It's nearly nighttime. Uh, That's not a joke. Here, you want zombies to? Uh, you were, you were whining about zombies last time you recorded? Here you go. Have fun. Basically. Alright, Scream is going out. Nighty night. Bye bye. Ed's gone. And then next thing you know, Scream spawns in. That'd be funny. <laughs> be like, kind of like, uh, I think it's from, like, Dragon Ball, like, the scene where. Good. Oh, look, another Screamer! Who was that? Number six? Six or seven, something like that. <laughs> it's like, uh, but it's like the scene from uh, Dragon Ball where it, like peers right behind you and goes like, eh. <laughs> it goes nothing personal, kid. <laughs> I'm on. What is with these buff crawlers? My <laughs> tree is now level twenty-seven. My blade is now level fifteen. Nice. Oh, at least the... I'm using bladed weapons me archery. Is my favorite thing. I well, I'm like I don't have a club, so I'll I'll just use the uh, I'll just go use the hunting knife. Yeah, I'm like, eh, what the hell? Besides, the the hunting knife's cheaper to craft, anyways. Screamer! Hey, I'm behind you. <laughs> yeah, I'm only forty zombie kills behind you. Oh. That's a big number. Forty-five skill points to spend. Nice. Question is, what do I spend them on? Exactly, gun. Nothing to spend them on. All right, are we done with the screamer palooza? Oh, we're gonna need to get back to our base soon. Got an in-game hour. Eh, we'll be fine. That that was like, yeah, like six or seven screamers straight. I'm like, look uh, at all the gore piles. Look at all the piles. <laughs> you can just see a five. <laughs> Oh, uh, here. Here's your hunting knife schematic. Alright. Uh, you wanna drop the other part for the gun? Oh, um, yeah, the frame, I'm sorry. It's yeah, up. yeah, guys, that's gonna be about it for today's episode. Uh, fun little bit of action, lots of screamers and lots of XP, so... Uh, we're gonna do some working overnight, and I hope you have a great day, and take care.